Let's consider an important localization cue known as interaural timing difference, or ITD for short. And this is one of the important ways that our human perception works for localizing a source based on listening with uh, both ears. Let me consider a listener looking from the top view. That's supposed to be the listener's nose there. And imagine that we've got a source that's just straight on axis. Uh, you're, you're facing the source directly. So as sound propagates from the source to your ears, we see that the path length should be exactly the same. Now imagine that the source is placed somewhat off center, say at about 50 degrees or so. Now we see that the path length to your left ear is slightly longer than it is to the right. And in fact, this is maximized when our source is placed at the far right and we have the longest possible path difference, which is really established by the distance between your two ears, which for a typical adult is about 21 centimeters. When we realize that sound propagates at roughly 344 meters per second, the distance in time between your two ears works out as 630 microseconds. Now if we define theta as zero as pointing straight to the right, the picture in the middle would be theta is 45 degrees and the picture on the far left would be theta is 90 degrees. That's our typical orientation scheme for angles. Well, it turns out then that the time difference can be stated as 630 times cosine of that angle theta in microseconds. And this is valid for sources that are at least one meter away. So we have a fairly simple equation. We need the effect to be uh, at least a difference of 20 microseconds to be perceivable.